Good afternoon. Every day, at about five minutes to noon, my dog runs for the office. And he lays down because he knows when the piano starts, it's treat time. <laughs> it's a treat for us, too. Thank you, Luke. Welcome to Holy Trinity Church in Juneau, Alaska. On this Tuesday, in the 25th week of Pentecost. Our bulletin for the week is found at Trinity juno.org click on the button that says noonday prayers and you can read it there or download it and we invite you to participate in the responses I know people that have chanted the psalms with us at home maybe to the delight of their neighbors for some time now Please join us. Oh God, make speed to save us. Oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 78, which recounts much of the history of the people. I'm going to Read um, verses 1 through 4, and then 38 and 39. Hear my teaching, O my people. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will declare the mysteries of ancient times. That which we have heard and known and what our forefathers have told us, we will not hide from their children. We will recount to generations to come the praiseworthy deeds and the power of the Lord and the wonderful works he has done. He was so merciful that he forgave their sins and did not destroy them. Many times he held back his anger and did not permit his wrath to be roused. For he remembered that they were but flesh, a breath that goes forth and does not return. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Reading is continuing in the book of the Revelation to John, chapter 18, beginning at verse 9. And the kings of the earth who committed fornication and lived in luxury with her will weep and wail over her, that is, Babylon, when they see the smoke of her burning. They will stand far off in fear of her torment and say, Alas, alas, the great city, Babylon, the mighty city, for in one hour your judgment has come. And the merchants of the earth weep and mourn for her, since no one buys their cargo anymore, cargo of gold, silver, jewels, and pearls, fine linen, purple, silk, and scarlet, 
all kinds of scented wood, all articles of ivory, all articles of costly wood, bronze, iron, and marble, cinnamon, spice, incense, myrrh, frankincense, wine, olive oil, choice flour and wheat, cattle and sheep, horses and chariots, slaves and human lives. The fruit for which your soul longed is gone from you, and all your dainties and your splendor are lost to you, never to be found again. The merchants of these wares who gained wealth from her will stand far off in fear of her torment, weeping and mourning aloud. Alas, alas, the great city clothed in fine linen, in purple and scarlet, adorned with gold, with jewels and with pearls. For one hour has all this wealth been laid to waste. And all shipmasters and seafarers, sailors, and all whose trade is on the sea stood far off and cried out as they saw the smoke of her burning. That city was like the great city. And they drew through dust on their heads as they wept and mourned, crying out, Alas, alas, the great city where all who had ships at sea grew rich by her wealth. For in one hour she has been laid waste. Rejoice over her, O heaven, you saints and apostles and prophets. For God has given judgment for you against her. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. There are still some kings, and there are many who are as kings without the title. Oh, Babylon. Babylon has fallen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Let's pray all together this day. O God, with grace and mercy, give your blessings to the Diocese of Alaska. Watch over our churches, sustain our people, strengthen our leaders. Through the Holy Spirit, guide and guard the Diocese keeping it always under your care and protection. Let us be a loving family, serving you in faithful devotion to the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give your blessings to Mark, our bishop. Give him a spirit of courage and right judgment, a spirit of knowledge and love. Let your Holy Spirit be his companion. Let your gospel be always in his thoughts. May your presence in his life be a light for all to see. In every good work, for the building up of your people, and to the glory of your holy name. Give us the blessing of your example. Help us to follow in the way of Jesus today and every day. Give us compassion at the center of all we do. Compassion for ourselves as disciples still young in faith. Compassion for others as members of our own family and God. Let us become examples for others as so many others have been examples to us through your love and for the sake of your glory. Watch over all elders and the brothers and sisters of the Society of St. Simeon and St. Anna. If any are in a time of sorrow, sickness, or need, 
Give them the touch of your healing hand. If any are in times of joy, thanksgiving, or fulfillment, give them the song of angels to praise your name. Let us be your servants in this life, just as we will be your sons and daughters in the life to come. I pray for all families who deal with problems of the aging. I pray for those who are losing their powers, their reliable elements of care for their own lives, and for their families who must step in and care for them, help them, and for all the difficulties and awkwardness that arise from that. Lord, teach us a better way. Teach us how to treat one another with dignity and respect and how to let go. I pray for those who suffer from mental illness, especially those on the street at this time when it's beginning to get cold and the warming shelter for some mysterious reason is not open and the campground has been closed. Lord, give us the flexibility make our calendars work for those who need the services of the city. Help us to fill in, to deal with people who are difficult to deal with, and to be compassionate in all our doings. We give thanks for the culture rich culture of this sacred ground, of this community, the people of this land who have, who have thrived for many millennia in this place. Help us to learn to treat the land and the people with respect. Please offer your prayers together with ours. Help us to build an altar of prayer. That the incense of its smoke may rise to you, O Lord, our Maker. These things we ask and for the care and comfort of all those who have lost loved ones, especially those who have disappeared into the wilderness. Comfort them, Lord, and make them safe. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, we remember three mystics. The 14th and early 15th centuries. Richard Waller, Walter Hilton, and Marjorie Kemp. give you thanks, Lord, for directing your prophets and mystics to redirect us. Direct our hearts, O gracious God, and inspire our minds that like your servants, Richard Waller, Walter Hilton, and Marjorie Kemp, we might pass through the cloud of unknowing. Until we behold your glory face to face in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Lord, let our eyes be your eyes, sharing compassion, warmth, and love. Let 
our hands be your hands, bringing healing with their touch. Let our ears be your ears, listening where there is need. And let our words be your words, bringing comfort, joy, and peace. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God grant to the world, especially to you, justice, mercy, truth, and peace in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.